Hey guys, so it's Monday. Uh, it's the afternoon, I've been coaching all morning, had a nice easy run this morning. Uh, but now I'm at the track this evening, need to get some speed back in the legs. I've got the next race will be a 50 kilometer in Malaysia. It's gonna be really hot and it's gonna be a really flat race as well on the trail. So I'm really trying to get my leg speed up a little bit. Um, haven't done any major speed work for a while. Uh, I've been focusing obviously on the longer ultra stuff. So yeah, gonna do 20 by 400s today. It's a classic session, a session I really enjoy. Try and get that leg speed up, try and, try and get the legs up to at least 10k if not 5k pace uh, would be ideal 5k pace would be really good um yeah so i'm gonna bring you guys along this week as well i'm gonna film a little bit every single day and just show you what a typical training week could look like uh for me obviously it changes from time to time but right now i'm in baguio in the philippines which i'm really enjoying up here we're at 1500 meters of elevation already so it's really quite nice there's a little bit of altitude there but it shouldn't affect uh too much but i'm really enjoying it so far so monday let's get this track session in get some speed back in the legs Mission accomplished, 2400, averaging around 73 seconds, which I'm pretty happy with right now. I haven't done speed work for a while, but it was good, it was tough. So just got to the gym, gonna do some core and some uh, stability work with my legs, got them nice and strong for the trails. Picked up some pineapple, gonna munch this down now. Just starting an easy run this morning, gonna be out for a couple hours. Uh, just get some good aerobic miles in after yesterday's track session. And uh, yeah, feeling really good, legs feeling strong. And uh, feel a bit sore from the gym, but that's all good, building, those, uh, building that strength back up. But I've just taken a new route here and absolutely blessed with these amazing views here. There's just trails everywhere in Baguio. I just found this awesome trail, you can see behind me. And now we're just dropping down into the valley. I thought I got a little bit lost, but I was on the awesome trail of all those hanging bridges. And then I made myself, back, got myself back to the road. And uh, I just had a really steep climb, which was good fun. So I'm about 14K in, about 600 meters of climbing, uh, about an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna head back into Baguio City now. Glad I didn't get too far out of the way. I wasn't sure if I was going in the right direction, but back into the city now and uh, I think it's time to pick up some fruit and get some breakfast. Morning guys, so it's Wednesday, 17 kilometers this morning, a bit of climbing as well. It's really enjoying just the undulating trails here, nice and rolling. Uh, so I just got back, I'm gonna munch through this papaya now. So I'm just finishing up my run now, about eight kilometers in, probably gonna be about three kilometers on the way back. So I'll take my total for the day up to about 30K. Uh, really, really enjoying getting back into the training process again now. Uh, it feels like it's been a while with the Nine Dragons 50 miler and then the Cordillera Mountain Ultra with the you know tapering down before the race, running the race, and then obviously recovery afterwards. Feels like it's been a while since I've had a good volume week and put some good sessions in there. So feeling really good again, really enjoying it and uh, really enjoying this evening's run through the forest. That was really nice. It's getting a bit dark back there, so a head torch would have been a good idea for us to do it again, but yeah, heading back now, guys. It's been a good day of training. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna hit up a tempo session in the midday heat, so that's gonna be tough going. So I haven't been running this morning. I'm gonna go running in the midday heat, doing that tempo session. Uh, just getting some oats in now. So every day after I have my fruit, I always end up having a good bowl of oatmeal. Um, so I got oats, banana, some peanut butter, and a load of maca as well. If you haven't tried maca, check it out. It's really good stuff. So a good bit of energy there for a few hours time. I've got on a session. So I don't want to eat anything too big, but it's just enough just to keep me going. But yeah, gonna get out in a few hours for that tempo session in the midday heat and we'll see how uh, we'll see how the body handles it. Wow, it was gonna be a tough one. I knew it was gonna be tough, but that really took it out of me. 
Uh, I think I underestimated the heat and uh, the little bit of altitude that we've got up here for those efforts. But it was a really fun session, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the session I aimed for was 4 by 4 by 3 k but I had to mix it up a little bit just because I was so wasted. So I ended up being 3 by 3 k efforts, so around tempo kind of pace. But progressively they got slower uh, and then I did 2 by 1500s. So I broke that last one in half because I just didn't have it in me to kind of see it through. Uh, just dying, just dehydrating like crazy. It's so hot up here in the, in the midday heat. But yeah, I started kind of beating myself up in the session. I was a bit disappointed with myself when I started slowing down as much as I did on that third one. I had to cut down on the fourth one as well. But just uh, had to kind of take a step back for a second and remind myself what the kind of factors were for this session, what I was really aiming for. And what I was aiming for was to put myself under a lot of stress in the midday heat. Uh, obviously I knew the altitude maybe would take a little bit out of me as well and it's been a pretty good tr training week so far as well you know I did do a bit of a strength session yesterday so maybe that took a little bit out of my legs as well but I can't complain Hey guys, it's Friday. Just been for a nice easy run this morning. Just went out for 60 minutes, recovery run. Let the body recover after that hard session yesterday. And then had a nice foam rolling session after that. Just got here to Green Smoothie, which is a really nice vegetarian vegan restaurant here in Baguio. I'm just waiting for a well, Green Smoothie and a Burrito Bowl as well. So I'm looking forward to munching down on those. And then we're gonna go for a nice easy walk around the park here in the, in the city. Really nice, just having a good day just to chill out and not put too much stress on training. It's been a pretty tough week so far. I want to try and get some good miles in this weekend, so it's important to let the body adjust and absorb that little bit of training that I've been doing this, up to this point in the week and uh, eat some good food today. So guys, it's Saturday, I've just been for a 16 kilometer run in Camp John Hay on the trails. Tomorrow I'll be checking out some new trails, uh, heading down, hopefully down some new trails and uh, bring you guys along for the ride as well. It should be a bit of a longer run with some good climbing, so I'm looking forward to it and pretty excited to explore a light, slightly different area to uh, Baguio. Uh, but today I just wanted to get back to a recent question I had on one of my videos. Uh, recently, if you've been following the channel, you would have seen that I've ran a couple of ultras recently. The Cordillera Mountain Ultra here in the Philippines and then the week before that, the Nine Dragons 50 miler in Hong Kong. Both of them are really awesome races, really enjoyed my time there, uh, but they were a week apart. Um, and one of the questions I had was how do I recuperate so quickly, how do I recover between these races and race so often? Um, it's definitely a good question. Uh, do I recommend racing ultras every weekend to runners? Certainly don't. Um, you can definitely build up to it and you can recover well from it, uh, but you have to be respectful and you have to make sure you're obviously well trained to be able to do that and have some good experience within the sport there uh, to be able to kind of pull it off and to stay healthy at the same time. It's all about balance making sure that you are going into those races well prepared and well trained uh, and respecting the body at the same time. Uh, just to break it down quickly though, you know, really in terms of my recovery process when I do finish a race, what I always reach for is just water, making sure I'm getting nice and hydrated again. Thinking about electrolytes as well, maybe in that mix as well. So if you are feeling particularly dehydrated, you have to understand, and it has been a hot and humid climate as well, you're probably a bit out of balance when it comes to your electrolytes in your body, which really help you to absorb that water to stay hydrated. Um, you know, if you're just drinking plain water all the time, it's not always the most useful thing for you. So. I'll always reach for some water. Following that, I'll make sure I get some fruit, some easy to digest food just there, some good carbohydrates to kind of replenish those spent stores, and obviously full of minerals, full of vitamins, which helps to balance everything out there as well. Really kickstart that recovery process. Uh, 
quite soon after that I'll make sure I get a good balanced meal there so some good veggies some rice maybe depending where I am but making sure it's a good balance of all the major kind of food groups there and good nutrients so get some good carbohydrates some healthy fats in there uh, obviously you know there will be protein in there proteins in all foods uh, and of course always going for the vegan meal uh, is definitely what I'm all about the plant-based options are fantastic and really help with the recovery process as well just because it's so easy for the body to digest and assimilate all the goodness from those kind of foods um, but movement is something that I will maintain as well after a race I don't just kind of sit down and collapse in bed uh, obviously if it's a late race then that's certainly something that probably is going to happen but generally I'll try and keep moving keep walking stay on my feet obviously I'll sit down and take a rest but just over those next few days make sure I'm still staying somewhat active to keep the muscles relaxed and not stop them and to try and stop that fatigue from really setting in heavy and everything tightening up so keeping a bit of easy movement some easy walking maybe some cycling maybe some swimming but really light really relaxed just socially just having fun with it and giving the body a chance just to kind of flush out some of those toxins that is created uh, but sleep is obviously a big part as well making sure you're getting plenty of sleep uh, compression so I like to put on some good compression gear after a hard ultra so I put on compression socks at the least if not compression tights again just to help keep the blood flow moving within the legs but of course it all goes into training and preparation for these races so I certainly wouldn't do back to back ultras unless I knew that my body could handle that kind of stress and making sure that I was trained specifically for that task and demand so training is obviously the biggest part of it if you're doing a race and you're coming out the end of it feeling absolutely awful it obviously shows you've given a good effort but maybe your training could have been better in the preparation leading up to that race maybe you could have made sure that you were more prepared for the stresses that on demands that the race is going to put on you and certainly when it comes to ultras some ultras are a lot easier to prepare for when it comes to those stresses and those shorter ultras like the 50 miler the 50k distance you can kind of do that bounce back a bit better from them i came into these races knowing that maybe i wouldn't be able to do the cordillera mountain ultra the following week uh, just hoping that i would be able to recover from it uh, recovery was going well so i decided to go for it but if recovery wasn't going so well it's important not to just kind of push through and cause yourself any injury or any harm. Think about giving yourself the rest and respect that your body needs, guys, and hopefully you'll be able to recover back from your training. So it's been a bit more of a run adventure today. Hasn't been any kind of crazy pace so far, but it's all been downhill, so on the way back I have a lot of vert to climb up, probably about a thousand meters, um, which is quite interesting for me, starting at the top of the mountain, working my way down to the valley, and then finishing with a good climber. Uh, typically, you run up the mountain back down or what have you so finish on the descent so it's pretty good so this is where i'm at really beautiful valley heading towards itagon <clears throat> which is uh, over here somewhere like, there's a few trails marked on the maps and i've been following that on the maps but it's just just seem to disappear or there's all these little side trails so i'm just kind of getting lost the whole time so i think i'm just gonna head back towards Baguio up the roads and I'll still get a good amount of climbing in but it'll be a bit of a steadier run now so it's been start stop and it's all good it's good fun but it's certainly pretty hot pretty baked out of water so I need to find some water and then carry on <laughs> it's all good it's all good adventure though so it's gonna keep moving before I get too fried but definitely uh definitely appreciating where I'm at so I've been going for a few hours just got some more water pretty wiped out as you can see it's pretty hot sweating like crazy I uh, got really lost, as I said, uh, but I've made it back to the road. Still enjoying the run, really enjoying these kind of views. Hey guys, so it's the evening now. Uh, it's been a good training week overall, finishing off on about 147 kilometers or so, and over 5,000 meters of climbing. So it's been a good overall training week. It's really good to get some good sessions in there as well with the track session uh, earlier in the week, and then obviously the tempo session as well, all in the kind of the heat of the day as well, which is great to help me acclimatize for the upcoming race I've got in Malaysia coming up in a few weeks time so I feel really good really positive about the week I was hoping the mileage would be a bit higher but obviously getting a bit lost today uh, a bit of bushwhacking and kind of walking around in circles in the jungle well the forest I guess up here for a little while didn't really help getting those longer miles in but it was a good experience all the same and it was great fun I'm really enjoying the really beautiful landscape we've got here as well so we're just here at a vegan restaurant now in Baguio I've got some good uh, veggies and rice here we've got pizza on the way as well so looking forward to that and um, yeah really enjoying Baguio it's great fun so please make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it guys leave a comment down below let me know how your training is going do you have any big races coming up any big goals um, in the coming months perhaps that you're training for thanks for watching guys and happy running i'm going to leave you with a shot of pizza